What a beautiful morning in Burlington, right? Welcome to this exciting day and this long-awaited event. There it is, right behind me, the Amtrak Ethan Allen. A train many of us have dreamed of seeing right here at Union Station. Imagine you can step on that train and step off in Penn Station, and you can return from the heart of New York City right back here to Burlington Union Station. This has been a mighty team effort with state and federal funding, the invaluable support from our congressional delegation and our critical partners. I really want to thank Vermont Rail Systems and our important and talented group of contractors and industry partners who worked with the Agency of Transportation over the years and especially in this last two year push so that we could be here celebrating this event today. I really want to recognize uh, friends and colleagues at VTrans. These are incredibly dedicated people without whose tireless effort and really hard work, this day would not be possible. I first want to recognize and acknowledge how much infrastructure work went into this. A new platform in Middlebury and Burlington, a new station in Ferrisburg, 26 crossing projects, nine bridge upgrades, a lot of track work including full surfacing of the 67 miles between Rutland and Burlington and more. Extending service to Burlington will provide countless benefits for Vermont and new opportunities will develop as a result. So again, thank you all for being here today and for all those past and present who made this all possible. A lot of hands were involved in this, so thank you very much. I do want to thank the, the, the federal delegation, Senator Sanders, Congressman Welch, who can't be here with us for the incredible focus and commitment of resources that they have made to this over the years. It seems very unfair that Senator Leahy is not able to be with us today. Uh, Senator, I want you to know that we're all thinking of you here in Vermont, wishing you a speedy recovery, and enormously thankful for the commitment that you have made to this wonderful Burlington waterfront. This restored service will give a much needed boost to our downtown at a key time. And travelers now have a new lower carbon connection to New York City and the rest of the Amtrak system. This project touches on a whole lot of issues. Very simply, what it does is if you choose not to get into your car and drive to New York City and spend $100 to park your car, you know what, take Amtrak. <laughs> it means that Vermont is playing a role in trying to leave this planet in a little bit better shape for our kids and our grandchildren. And certainly I know I speak for Senator Leahy and Congressman Welch in saying thank you to everybody who made this day possible. Thank you. Decades of work has gone into making this day possible. This return will make it easier for Vermonters to travel and easier for others to come here. The Senator has always believed in the need for expansion of passenger rail service throughout Vermont. Now, all we need to do is restore the Vermonter as a cross-border train to Montreal. Today's passenger rail carries both commuters and vacationers, evoking the leisure of the past while providing the convenience of the modern era. Congressman Welch encourages all Vermonters to purchase your ticket to ride and climb aboard the railroad of the 21st century. Last but not least, I want to thank our crew, right? Our folks have been out here getting ready, out on the tracks. You're going to see them today in action. They're going to deliver a great service. <laughs>